Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and this is part three of my nine part series highlighting my favorite products from Automation Fair 2017. Now I didn't go myself, I went last year, but uh, I did find that Rockwell released a product guide and I'll put a link to the product guide in the bottom of the screen and I'm just going through that I'm saying hey there's some pretty cool products in here so I wanted to share them with you or at least what I thought I mean you can look at the document yourself and pick your own favorite products but the third product on the list and again these are in order of when they're going to ship not in order of how much I like them or not but the third product on the list is the compute module now this is a module that goes right into the 1756 rack and is a computer a Windows 10 computer now um, apparently it comes in two flavors they only talked about the Windows 10 version um, in their literature but I also found some installation instructions where they talk about a Linux version as well don't know what you'd run on Linux but you could run uh, write your own app and put it on there and the cool thing about this is you get high-speed access to the memory of the controller so if you had some very complicated algorithm you need to run in C++ you can compile that and either run it on Windows 10 or Linux and have high-speed access to the controller versus having to wait you know for information to go over Ethernet so that's really the cool part about this now I got links in the uh, the companion article to the ins installation manual and the users manual over at the automation blog.com but um you know my kind of question for you is do you think you'll use this you know going all the way back to the 1771 DSX2 and DSX4 there have been computer you know computers in a module for Rockwell uh, Rockwell chassis but in, in my experience I've never found just the right application to use them and part of that's because I can buy an industrial computer with more two or three times as much horsepower for a third or a quarter of the price of these modules now I, I don't know what this uh, compute module is going to cost because well, they haven't released the prices yet. I checked the proposal works, updated it. It wasn't in there. So only time will tell. But as cool as this is, and great, yeah, I'd love to run uh, View SE on it too, right? What's the price? Because if I can just buy a brick and mount it to the panel, you know, and it's three times more powerful at a third the price, that might be the way to go. So let me know your thoughts in the article over at theautomationblog.com. I have a poll, and there's also a link where you can uh, post a comment and let me know what you're thinking. And with that, that's the end of this episode of the Automation Minute. If you know anybody who would like to learn how to use Control Logics and Studio 5000, please recommend they take a look at my training site, theautomationschool.com. I got a, an eight plus hour course on uh, Control Logics over there. It's called PAC Basics. And uh, if you could spread the word about it, I'd greatly appreciate it. And with that, that's it for today. Until next time, peace.